Hi guys and girls and welcome to this Tractor Bible tutorial. My name is Rainer Haselier and today I want to show you how you can control two Tractor decks with one turntable or one CD player when using timecode. This configuration is useful if you have only one CD player or one turntable or as a backup setup if one of your turntables dies during a gig. And we all know this can happen. In this tutorial I'm going to use a Traktor Control S4 and a CDJ400. But the general setup is always the same, no matter what equipment you use. The whole trick works because of a Traktor feature which is called Single Turntable Mode. In Single Turntable Mode two Traktor decks share one timecode signal. When two decks share one timecode signal only one of the two decks can be controlled by timecode. Here is how you get it up and running. The first thing you need to do is connect your turntable or CD player to your audio interface. In my setup I connected the CDJ400 to port C of my Control S4. I did this so I can use port D for other things like microphone or an MP3 player. Then you go to Preferences and open the Input Routing tab. Because I want to control deck A and deck B, I assign port C of the S4 to both decks. Then I go to the decks panel to make the scopes visible. And finally, I set the deck mode of both decks to scratch control. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. Here I have loaded a track in deck A and start playback by pressing the play button on the CD player. Deck A is now in timecode mode. And now I want to mix in deck B and use the CD player to do the tempo and the beat matching. All I need to do is switching deck B to timecode control now. Because the timecode signal is shared by deck A and deck B, and because only one deck can be controlled by timecode at the same time, Traktor switches deck A to internal mode. Now I can do the transition to deck B, and then switch deck A to timecode mode, then deck B will be in internal mode. I don't want to use the mouse during a gig to set a decked timecode mode. That's why I made a little add-on mapping for the S4 that allows me to use Shift plus the Monitor Q buttons to set deck A and deck B either to relative or absolute timecode mode. You can download this mapping from the companion webpage on tractorbible.com. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you find the download link here below in the description. Download the mapping and then go to Preferences. Open the Controller Manager panel and click on Add and then on Import. Go to the folder with the downloaded mapping, select it and open it. Now check the Import drop-down and make sure that the S4 controller is selected. With the add-on mapping loaded, you can now use your Control S4 to set a deck to timecode mode. Hold the left shift button and press Q to set the deck to relative timecode mode or hold the right shift button and press Q to set it to absolute timecode mode. Alright, this ends the single turntable and timecode tutorial. Have fun, make some music and I see you next time. Thanks for watching. Adios.